This tutorial explains how to reproduce and fix the error message object not found in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you a simplified example and this example starts in line two of the code. So in this line of code, I'm trying to print the data object X to the R Studio console. However, if you run this line of code, you can see that the error message object X not found is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And the reason for that is that we have not created a data object with the name X yet. You can also see that by having a look at the top right at the global environment. And in this case, you can see that this environment is still empty. So if you want to create a data object with the name X, you might use the code that you can see in line four. So in this line of code, I'm assigning a range with the values one to 10 to this data object. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right that a new data object is appearing, which is called X. And we can now print this data object to the RStudio console, as you can see in line six of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see that the content of this data object is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. So whenever you are facing the error message object X not found, you have to check at the top right if this data object is occurring at the top right and if you have already created this data object and if it is not created yet, you have to check your code in the forefront if you have defined this data object properly. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.